This video will go over general directions for the chapters 11 through 13 questions for The Giver by Lois Lowry. Before you get started, please be sure to put both your first name and last name and your homeroom teacher's name at the top of your paper. Please notice that this assignment is worth a total of 116 points. Taking this assignment very seriously is going to be important as a poor score on this assignment will result in a pretty big drop in your overall grade in the course. The directions say, answer the following questions after reading the sections of The Giver by Lois Lowry mentioned above, and those are chapters 11 through 13. All short answer and extended response questions must be answered in complete sentences. It's extremely important that you answer in complete sentences. If you do not, you will end up with a D on each question that you don't write in complete sentences for, even if the answer is correct. The first question asks you to list all answers that apply in the boxes below. Under Settings, you're going to list all the places that Jonas goes. And under Characters, you're going to list the people actively involved in the action of the story. The last thing I want to talk to you about in this video is the vocabulary. For each vocabulary word listed, you need to complete the activities below. Each completed box is worth two points. When completing this, you need to make sure that you are using WordCentral.com. The WordCentral.com link is located for you at the bottom of this page. When you open up WordCentral.com, you type the word into this box and it will give you the definition. For each of the words, I have given you the page numbers from the digital version of the book. Poised is on page 81. Obstruction is on page 82. Admonition is on page 89. Hueless is on page 97, Mutilated is on page 100, Exempted is on page 101. The first column asks you to give the sentence from the text where the word can be found. Do this first. Fit as much of the sentence as you can and make sure to include the word. The second thing I want you to do is make a prediction about what you believe the word means. The last thing you should do is use wordcentral.com to look up a definition for that word. 